Hello everyone, welcome to MES e-learning channel. In this video, we will see parallel force system. So before going into the parallel force system, we will see some of the basics which is related to parallel force system. So the first one is classification of parallel forces. So under classification of parallel forces, we have two force, one is like parallel forces, another one is unlike parallel forces. Now what is like parallel forces? So the forces, the forces whose line of action line of action are parallel the forces whose line of action are parallel to each other and all of them acts in act in same direction So, are known as parallel forces. So, for example, we can have the example like this. So, see so we have a forces, three force of four forces, F1, F2, F3. So, if you see the direction, so it is like towards upward. So, in this all, all the four forces acting in the same direction and all the forces, the line of action also parallel. So, this is called as a parallel force system like parallel force system. So, on the other hand, we have a unlike parallel force system. So, in unlike parallel force system, in unlike parallel force, the direction would not be same. So, it will be in different direction. The line of action will be parallel to each other, but it will be different. So, some force will be acting downward, so some force will be acting upward like this. So, here the F1, F2, F3 and F4, if you see the line of action, so they are, though they are parallel to each other, but the directions are different. So, these are called as a unlike parallel forces. So, we know what is like parallel forces and unlike parallel forces. This is one. The second thing is couple. So, couple it does nothing but the two unlike parallel forces. So, when you talk about couple, so couple is nothing but a pair of a pair of two equal and unlike parallel forces. So, a pair of two equal and unlike parallel forces that is the forces equal in magnitude with line of actions parallel to each other, with line of action parallel to each other. And acting in opposite direction and acting in opposite direction. It is known as couple. So, a basic example would be, <coughs> so we can, uh, to demonstrate it, so we have a one force acting like this, F1 is acting downward. So, another force is acting downward, sorry F1 is acting upward and F2 is acting downward. So, this pair forms a couple, this pair forms a couple because you, you, you can see over here. So, the forces are parallel to each other, line of action are parallel to each other, but the direction is different. So, this is kind of a couple. So, one more example we can have the uh, while uh, closing, while closing the tap or opening the tap we can have the couple over there. 
So it's like a one is unlike forces, but uh, equal magnitude, but in opposite direction. So closing tap and uh, opening tap. One more example would be a steering of the wheel. Steering of wheel, right? So when we are steering a wheel, so we will have a rotational motion. So in this also we have a two unlike forces, unlike parallel forces, but equal in magnitude. So this couple is very important. So we have the couple is nothing but two, a pair of two equal and unlike parallel forces where the forces are equal in magnitude, but the line of action are parallel to each other, but the acts in the opposite direction. The third one is movement. So movement of forces we have to know. So in general we know what is movement. Movement of forces. So movement of force is nothing but a rotational effect. So rotational effect produced by a force is known as a movement of forces. Uh, while uh, when, a, when a force is applied and it is producing a rotational effect, so in that particular thing is called as a movement of forces. So rotational effect produced by produced by force is known as movement of force. Okay. So, uh, in general the formula for this is that we have movement will be equal to force into perpendicular distance. Okay. So, movement if you want to consider movements that, that is nothing but force the given force into the perpendicular distance. Suppose, so in a bar so force is acting downward F1 and this is a point of origin that is O and the distance is something uh, 3 meter. So according to the formula, according to the formula movement will be equal to force into distance that is F1 into 3. So F1 if I are considering 10 kilo Newton, so it is nothing but 10 into 3 that will become 30 kilo Newton meter. So, F is Newton and 3 is meter, so 30 kilo Newton, kilo Newton meter. So, this is the movement of force. So, like this we can find out the movement of the particular system. So, we have a sign conversion as well. Suppose, uh, so this is a point of origin O and we have a force is acting downward. So, this one. So if I want to if I want to find out movement about point O, so you can see now this is forcing acting like this. It will go like this. If you want to finding the rotational motion, right? So I want to find out the rotational mo movement. So this force F1 will be act like this about the point O. Now this is a clockwise direction. Clockwise direction. Clockwise direction. So, when you are having a clockwise direction, it will become positive. So, anti-clockwise, so clockwise direction is nothing but like this. And um, in some cases, if you have a counterclockwise direction, so you can have negative. Or in some cases, we can have clockwise as negative and anti clockwise as I mean counter clockwise as positive. So, it depends upon the systems you can take according to the sign, but uh, this entire during the lectures we will follow only one system. Now, we are going to now to find out the resultant of the parallel force system. So, since we are into parallel force systems, now we can find out how to find the resultant of parallel force system. So, the first step will be step 1. So, find resultant. So, R will be equal to summation of f of x and uh, if you want to find f of x, algebraic sum of all the parallel forces system. So, if a force is acting downward 
sorry if a force is acting upward it is a positive if the force is acting downward it is a negative then second step would be find moment <coughs> moment about that particular point o or this particular point a anywhere whatever point it is so if you are taking for the center things if you are taking for a counter clockwise that is anti clockwise if the moment is anti clockwise we would take positive if the moment is about anti clockwise we would take positive if it is a clockwise we will take negative if the moment is about clockwise we will take negative if it is anti clockwise we will take positive then the third step would be we have to apply the uh, varigon theorem apply varigon theorem So here the summation of moment will be equal to resultant into distance. So this distance is nothing but the perpendicular distance between the line of action and the reference point. Now step 4 would be position, position of resultant with respect to point O. So whatever point we are taking, so we can keep the position with respect to that point too. Now, <coughs> so resultant of the uh, with respect to point O, so this is depends upon the depending upon the sign of. This will depend on the sign of summation of F and the summation of moment. So these are the four steps you have to follow to find out the resultant of the parallel force system. So from the next lecture onwards, we will see some problems on parallel force system. Thank you guys.